Wow. Wow. Mind the spice rack. Try to lift the curse. Use a fork, right? You tried to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm going to be your guest now, your willing guest. Thank you for the chair, although your manners at passing it to me were not the best. You spoon king. Just need a bit for Regis. And now we'll tend to you. Do we say grace, or...? Uh... Four. Need to get this right. Words of the curse were... None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall say to you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Hmm. Let's swap spoons, cause if- Been searching for the right spoon for years, right? Yeah, if you use my spoon, then it's not your spoon. The key to this one just might be that you can't eat with your own spoon. That's why we've swapped. <laughs> Is that good, Geralt? This isn't right. I miss something? Listen, gonna stand up real slow. Gotta search the house again. Sit tight, I'll be right back. Calm down. Sweet spoon friend, come back. Wait. Um. That vile stuff for nothing. Got the brew for Regis at least. I got a, I got a level Can't up. Anything for the white though, except to cut it down. I can help the white. I can totally help the white. I got a level up. How do I go to my character? I can help you, sir. Know this, I can help you. Just like you want me to. Strength attack. All right. Seems I'll have to kill the white and tone junkie. No, I can help him. Okay, Mr. Speed Collector. Come on, Mr. Spoon! God damn it. Oh. 
Fuck, he's good. Ow, right in my face. He's dazed, damn it. Damn it, he's dazed! Get him good. Get him good. Fuck, he's dazed again. Not good. No, it's not. Hit him with that, hit him with that. Fuck you! He's like halfway. That spinny attack is amazing. Look at this spinny attack here. Spinny attack combo! Spinny attack combo! I can't even can't even do anything, dude. How are you not dead yet? Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. No! No! How the fuck are you not dead, man? Well, I got the saliva gland and a uh, disgusting right key. White key? A white key. I don't know what the... Uh, like, I had a spoon key or something. I don't know, we got the map. Boop, open the map. Yeah, well, that doesn't help us. Inventory, how bad is the silver sword? It's darned up to 50%. Weapon, excuse me. Um, weaponary kit does 15%. Excuse me. On the silver sword, please. Accept. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. Um. I don't know if I actually got anything else either. Like my inventory. We got a key. Distinguished. Disgusting. Right. White key. It was, we checked the whole house pretty much, I think, decently. It's uh, a lot of bones around here. No bones about it. It's probably. We unlocked it using the key. Some ingredients. Get some other stuff. All right. Well, then there you go. Unlocked, and we're here. Don't know where here is, but we're here. Horse. Come on, horse. Oh man, are there seriously beasties? Fucking foglets. Ugly bastard. Please don't die. Jesus. Alright. Time to jump on this horse. Can we fast travel, actually? Um, I think you need a post to fast travel, too. That's it, Roach. And we're not near post. So, hoof it. Yep. Well, our friend's got what he wants. He should be happy. It wasn't even that hard to do. I mean, it was, it was, it was difficult to do, but, like, it could have been worse. That's... Yeah. How you doing, folks? 
I should have told them I was on their left. On your left. Passing you by because you're slow. Jump horse. Whee! Alright. Home sweet home. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. But, it's what we did. I made your concoction, dude. Or I got the thing for your concoction. Concoct your shin. Really? Okay. Thought vampires didn't like Think garlic. Your friend's hand will make for a nice broth. Hmm. You've clearly honed your sense of humor, but we are not cannibals, Geralt. I took a fragment of tissue from the hand. It will suffice to prepare some resonance. What did you do with the rest? I cremated it, as our codex commands. A raven told me you'd acquired the necessary ingredient. Pretty helpful creatures, calling them often. I try not to overdo it, but they can be so useful, as they were now, when I merely needed to be sure I could arrive in time should things go sour. Managed to find alone, but thanks for the thought. Gonna need much longer to finish brewing resonance? Mentioned the last ingredient, too. What about that? That, I fear, might prove troublesome. You see, to use the concoction to summon the memories of one, the solution must contain the blood of another specimen of the same species. Shouldn't be a problem. I happen to know a higher vampire who should be willing to help. Right, Regis? It's not that simple, I'm afraid. While you were away, I tried my damnedest to identify a replacement. But, alas, none such exists. Not sure I understand what the problem is. Can't we just draw some of your blood? The blood must be in an agitated state. As I'm certain you know, higher vampires can change their corporeal shell. As our flesh changes, so does our blood's chemical composition. To make a long story short, I shall need to induce in myself a state of strong psychokinetic arousal. In brief, madness, rabidity. And that stands to be very, very dangerous. Um, for who? Dangerous? Why? I mean, you'll still be you, right? True. But I should be highly agitated, in a state of fury. You know better than I that fury cannot be controlled. If you've ever seen an enraged vampire, you know very well that all who find themselves nearby will be in grave danger. How will we handle that? I'd rather not have you lunge at me, claws extended. That makes two of us. But worry not. I've thought it through very thoroughly. Details to follow soon. Okay. All right, so what do you want to do? We shall visit Tesha Mudna, an ancient vampire estate. There we will find cages suspended in the air. I will enter one, be confined. You will lure beasts there. Beasts you will then kill. The bloodletting should prove profuse. Abundant enough so that the blood scent will drive me mad. Wild. Okay. Tesha Mudna. What's it like? It is a place of torment, a torture chamber. Long ago, shortly after we'd arrived in this world, one among us named Kagmar developed such a taste and lust for human blood that in one night he could imbibe an entire village. This brought trouble on the entire species. Common folk wearied quickly of living in constant fear. They began to hunt us, seek the aid of mages and witches in tracking us down. So what? Not like they could ever hope to kill you. But they were bothersome. Forgive the comparison, but when did you last enjoy mosquitoes buzzing around your head? In any case, the other vampires decided something had to be done. Kagmar had to be caught and punished. A torture chamber was thus outfitted in the dungeons of Tesha Mutna. Inside it, a cage made entirely of a special alloy of silver, dalvinite, and meteorite steel. Kagmar was captured and locked in the cage. Sat there over two centuries, driven to fury time after time, never able to escape. Thus I know the cage will withstand the fury to which we shall drive my humble being. 